Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today for the first time on my YouTube channel we are going on a special trip to the Saks Fifth Off Avenue in Canada. In Saks Fifth Avenue, they offer quite a few range of handbag brands. In this particular store, we are going to be looking at Prada, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Valentino. Just to name a few. Hey guys, is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her. But before we hop into today's, come shop with me at Saks Fifth Avenue. If you guys love shopping, handbags, hauls, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. As soon as we enter in, we got 60% off every day. Everyday deals. And in the front of the store, we have some glass cases with a whole bunch of Tory Burch. I love that little pineapple piece, quilted piece. It's cute. Got some Tory Burch envelope clutches. And beside it, there is some Lanchon. Some beautiful Lanchon pieces. Still quite expensive, sadly. But they are gorgeous nonetheless. And taking a little trip down the belt lane for Michael Kors. Michael Kors has like 20 different belt styles here. Kind of insane when you really think about it because retail and outlet don't even have that many styles for belts. So it was interesting to see all these different styles, especially this chain one. I like the chain one. $60 though, kind of expensive, but to be fair, it is all hardware. And they also had the silver one. Next to the belts, there was a clearance. They had all these furs and faux furs, all for super discounted prices, as well as some knitted hats. There was this really cute poncho, I want to say. Some sort of, like, throw over, but it was so cute. $30 or $40. It, it was really cheap, especially when you take into effect that it was $220 to begin with. And we got some Valentino. Valentino. I... I don't know, but I feel like the Valentino you get at Saks is not the same as the Valentino you would get from Valentino. But I I really have no idea. I don't know that much about Valentino. But these purses were really cute nonetheless. And it, they weren't thousands of dollars either. A beautiful quilted bag. Look at a couple other pieces here. I did look at this piece and the chain. A little disappointing for the price point of that bag, but you know, what do you do? And then they had a whole slew of pre-loved Louis Vuitton and Gucci. I do believe this is the Alma BB Louis Vuitton and the behind it is like a Louis Vuitton duffel bag. I really have no idea any of these names, so please uh, correct me where I am wrong. It was really nice to actually feel Louis Vuitton vintage canvas. I believe this bag was vintage or some of these are vintage. Some of these are newer, but anything shown in today's video that is Louis Vuitton, Gucci, or Prada, those will be pre-loved. But I don't know which ones are specifically vintage and which ones are newer. But they did have a very large selection. 
$16.95. So, like, obviously these are still expensive, but you're not paying 100% full price. And I will say my favorite type of bag from Louis Vuitton are these epi leathers. I love Louis Vuitton epi leather. It is just such a striking and a gorgeous look to, like, any bag style. And right next to the Louis, we got some Gucci's. Some Gucci's. Also, a little more on the expensive side, but hey, again, at least you're not paying thousands. True. Gucci canvas is... I, I would say Gucci has a high-quality canvas. Now, I'm not going to say it's the highest, but it's, it's pretty good. Look at the GG monogramming on that uh, keychain, if you will. Take a quick look, see on the inside. I will say that some of these pieces were uh, leaving a little left to be desired. Like, even just going over to Tory Burch here, right behind the Louis and Gucci's, uh, a part of me feels like these are just maybe a little better. Like, if not, like, not far off, you know? Nonetheless, these were really cute. I liked this uh, squishy bag here. The chain there is just sickening. And they also had a Lee Roswell saddle bag. I've seen these ones here a few times before. I'm surprised they haven't sold yet. They are kind of cute. A cute quilted spring bag. And then another Lee Roswell saddle type of bag, but in like a gorgeous gray croc embossing with some suede. Oh, this bag was stunning. And even just looking at it now, I'm like, oh, gorgeous. And right beside the Tory Burch items, there was a whole slew of touchable Lancham. One of my favorite luxury brands. I love these pieces. Their mock croc is gorgeous the attention to detail with it is just insane and i love their leathers their leathers are so soft get a nice big look at this huge look here at least i'm pretty sure that's what this one is but it's huge huge and down below you have some more of their like other styles that they have. I can't remember exactly all of these names, but it was so cool to sit here and just, well, I know I just recently went to an actual launch on store, but it's still cool to play with these because I just, I love their bags. They're awesome. Get a nice little look side. All the Louis and Gucci's just chilling front and center. And they had this Gucci piece, this gorgeous Gucci piece, encased in a glass box. It was just, the rivets were just so beautiful on it. And if I were to have gotten any Gucci bag, it would have been this one. I actually kind of liked this bag. Even looking at it now, I'm like, ooh, that's, it's, it's kind of cute. You know, 19, or 11.95, I should say. Not horrible. It's a nice bag style. I love the looks of it and everything. Like, it's cute. And then over here we have Mark Jacobs. Now, sadly, these Mark Jacobs tote bags were not leather. These were like polyurethane and polyester mixes, which was really sad because they were like, they were really soft, but I don't, I'm not paying that much money for for uh, a polyester, polyurethane bag. But here we have some full leather Marc Jacobs bags. Still a little pricey, but Marc Jacobs is just so well known for their quality. These high-end luxury brands really need to watch out. And speaking of watching out, this is the ugliest hat I have ever seen in my entire life. Ever. More Marc Jacobs. 
I do believe this is a really expensive piece. The original Marc Jacobs price tag was still on it at like $500. And I was just like, holy crap, that's expensive. But the bag itself just has a really beautiful, beautiful construction to it. And uh, Marc Jacobs is a really nice brand. I would really like to at least get one piece into my collection at some point. Preferably an all leather bag. Preferably. But you never know. $2.99 for that. And over here we have some pre-loved Prada. This has to be my favorite bag. I know I don't like nylon or anything to do with nylon, but this color is sickening. The color of the leather, the vinyl, the nylon, the everything. I just, I love it. I don't love this one as much, but it, you know, can't win them all. A whole slew of Prada pieces. And then Valentino is last up on our list here. They have a whole bunch of Valentino, but again, I don't think this is the Valentino Valentino that, like, you expect. Uh, I know so little about Valentino. I feel like there is, like, a hundred different Valentino branded names. So, uh, I would prefer, if I were to have ever gotten Valentino bags, I would just go to a Valentino oh. store in person because these were nice, but I don't think they were... Yeah as much quality as they could have been, if you get what I mean. I love that pink color, though. The pink color on that bag is stunning. As well as this red one that I couldn't there open. There's going to be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 four thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little shopping trip at Saks Fifth Off Canada. It was a lot of fun playing around with some higher end vintage or like, you know, pre-loved bags. Yeah, I I didn't actually know that Saks Fifth Off, I don't know if it's Saks Fifth Avenue as a whole, but I didn't realize that they grabbed uh, pre-loved bags and sold them on their racks. I, th I think that's pretty cool, but I do know it was only for like Prada, Louis Vuitton, and like Gucci, like those, they were, those brands basically. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's special video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had. Like the video, share with your friends and family, and check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! I think it was good. I don't, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over.